Hi everyone, my name is Kate and today we're gonna crochet this cutie hat with cat ears. This hat is very easy and very fast to crochet literally in a few hours. Why it's so fast? Because we're gonna crochet it with a velvet or fluffy yarn. It's a bulky yarn and because of it, it's very fast to crochet. You can use any yarn, not necessarily velvet yarn or fluffy yarn. You can use just acrylic or wool. Just take a bulky yarn, okay? And also you can decorate your head with ribbons like I did. For example, I use black ribbon, but I chose between black and pink ribbon. I think with pink it's super cute and tender. Yay! <laughs> By the way, I wanted to tell you for those who aren't subscribed to my Instagram that I have launched my first crochet online course, Winter Wonder Crochets, where I show you how to crochet 5 versatile Christmas gifts for everyone. This course includes 5 step-by-step -step video tutorials, beginner-friendly, how to crochet a beanie hat. I will show you how to crochet elongated version because it suits any type of face. A scarf with a beautiful pattern, I added ruffles to it, but you can also crochet without them to make the scarf more discreet. Mittens. Usually they are difficult to crochet because you need to separately crochet a wedge for a finger to make them comfortable. But I will show you how easy they can be crocheted in fact. And they will be also very comfortable. Baskets. Gifts that can be useful for everyone, even for you. In them I store various small things such as makeup, jewelry, makeup brushes. In them you can put fruit and whatever you want. I will show you two different patterns, relief one and tapestry one. And a sweater you see on me. Such sweaters are usually knitted with needles and I haven't seen them crocheted. I found a way to crochet a sweater so that the threads don't tangle when you change colors and to keep the pattern straight. I'm in love with this sweater, I'm wearing it every day and I think it's my greatest crochet work ever. Also, this course includes 5 writing patterns to all items – baskets, beanies, scarves, sweater, mittens and 3 bonus PDF files – how to choose a yarn, color, combinations and different patterns for the sweater so you can crochet your own sweater with your own pattern. You can purchase my online course by the link in description under the video and be sure to get it all done before Christmas. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel to my Instagram, like this video and share this video with your friend who may also like this hat. It helps to promote my channel. And let's get started. We will need velvet yarn about 250 grams. In my skin it's 300 grams and 288 meters. Hook 8 millimeters, scissors, needle and tape measure. Let's make starter loop like this and chain of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Insert the hook into the very first loop and make a slip stitch. Grab the yarn and pull the first loop into the second one like this and make chain of 3. Now we're gonna make puff stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the circle, grab the yarn and pull it out. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the circle, grab the yarn, pull it out. And the last one, yarn over, insert the hook into the circle and pull out. Grab the yarn and crochet all loops except the last one. Now we have two loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and crochet two loops on the hook. And chain one. Now you can put the marker into the third loop of the first chain. Let's make the second puff stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the circle, grab the yarn, pull it out. Yarn over, pull it out. And the last one, yarn over, pull it out. Crochet all loops except the last one. Then crochet two loops on the hook and chain one. Like this we need to crochet at all seven puff stitches. So we've made two and you need to crochet five. Now 
I crochet at 7 puffed stitch and now insert the hook into the third loop of the first chain where we have the marker and make a slip stitch. Wrap the yarn and crochet first loop into the second one. Chain 3 and put a marker on the third loop. Yarn over and insert the hook above the first puff stitch from the previous row, right here. And make a puff stitch. Chain 1, then insert the hook between the puff stitches from the previous row. And make another puff stitch. Chain 1, insert the hook above the second puff stitch from the previous row and make a puff stitch. Chain 1, then again between puff stitches and so on until the end of the row. So at all we need to have 14 puff stitches in the second row. And the last one, 14th, I cross it in right under the first chain of air loops. Chain 1 and join the row with a slip stitch into the third loop of the first chain. Chain 3. And put a marker on the third loop of the chain. Insert the hook right under the first chain of air loops and make a puff stitch. Chain 1. Make the second puff stitch under the first puff stitch from the previous row. Chain 2. then between puff stitches from the previous row and so on until the end of the row. So at all we need to have 28 puff stitch in the third row. The last puff stitch I crochet right here. And join the row with a slip stitch in third loop of the first chain. Right now diameter of my circle is 21 cm. And starting with row 4, we will not crochet the whole round. At the end, we will leave 5 uncrocheted puff stitches. And also starting from this row, we're gonna crochet puff stitches only above the stitches from the previous row. So yarn over and insert the hook right above the puff stitch, the first puff stitch from the previous row. And make a puff stitch. Chain 1. And the second puff stitch make above the second puff stitch from the previous row and so on until we have left 5 uncrocheted puff stitches. So I left 5 uncrocheted puff stitches and right now we're gonna chain 3 and turn your work. Yarn over and insert the hook right above the first puff stitch from the previous row and make puff stitch. Chain 2 
Yarn over, insert the hook into the next loop right above the second puff stitch from the previous row and make a puff stitch and so on until the end of the row. And this is what we should have. At the end, chain 3, turn your work and crochet like we crocheted the next row. Puff stitches above the puff stitches from the previous row. And after this row, row 7, crochet the same way. And this is what we should have, I crocheted 4 rows. Let's call it wall of the head and the width is 12 cm. At the end chain 1 and you can cut the yarn and pull out the loop. And now we're gonna crochet the rubber band that will go on the edge of the head. Make a starter loop and chain of 4. The width of this chain will be the width of your band. You can crochet it in any width you like. Insert the hook into the second loop from the hook, the one on the hook doesn't count, and make a single crochet. Grab the yarn, pull it out and crochet two loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the next loop and make a single crochet again and the last single crochet. Chain 1 and turn your work. Insert the hook into the second stitch but through the back loop, right here. And make a single crochet. Insert the hook into the next stitch through the back loop and make a single crochet again. And the last one, insert the hook by two strands of the stitch, like this, and make a single crochet. Chain 1, turn your work, insert the hook into the second stitch through the back loop, make single crochet, and so on until the end of the row, and the last stitch we always crochet by two strands. Crochet the same way 77 rows. The number of rows may be different depending on the desired length of the ties, but you should definitely crochet 23 rows, because we will crochet them to the puff stitches. At the end chain 1, cut the yarn and pull out the loop. If you crochet the same number of rows as me, count 26 rows and put marker on the 27th. From here we will sew the band to the head. You can do the other side the same way. So between the stitches 23 rows, exactly the same number that we have of stitches on our head. From the wrong side of the head, insert the hook into the first Puff stitch. And then insert the hook into the side loop of the row that we have a marker. Grab the yarn, pull it out and crochet one loop on the hook. Then insert the hook into the next puff stitch and next row on the band. Grab the yarn and make a slip stitch. Insert the hook into the next puff stitch and next row on the band and make a slip stitch again. So crochet like this until the end of the head and try to pull loops more and crochet loosely so that your work doesn't shrink.
You can leave it like this, but I decided to put the elastic band a little bit to the side of the head, so I'm going to make a few more slip stitches. At the end chain 1, cut the yarn and pull out the loop. From the other side I'm going to do the same way, add a few more stitches. And right now with the needle hide all the end through the stitches. And right now let's make an ears. Make a magic loop like this. Insert the hook into the loop, grab the yarn, pull it out. Hold this loop with your fingers and take the loop more comfortably. Crochet one loop on the hook, insert the hook into the loop and make seven single crochet into the loop. And tighten the loop. Chain one, turn your work and crochet three single crochets first second and third into the fourth stitch crochet three single crochets in one loop it's the second and in the same place third and then again three more single crochets in the next stitches two and the last one we need to insert the hook right into this side loop and then in the last stitch. Grab the yarn and crochet single crochet like this. Chain one and turn your work. In the first stitch make an increase, crochet two single crochets in one stitch. Then crochet three more, one, two, Three, and into the fourth crochet three single crochets in one stitch then crochet again three more one two three and into the last stitch crochet two single crochets in one stitch and also grab the side loop we do this so that the edge is even And now it's better to finish the ear, chain 1 and cut the yarn, but if you want to make it bigger, just repeat the third row. So, 2 single crochets in the first stitch, then crochet 5 single crochets in the next stitches. Then 3 single crochets into the middle, 1, 2, 3. Then again 5 single crochets into the next stitches and into the last one 2 single crochets. At the end chain 1, leave a longer tip and cut the yarn. With a needle hide little ends through the stitches. I decided to crochet only 3 rows on the ear, not 4, and the width of my ear is 10 cm. And if you crochet 4 rows, the width will be 12 cm. I marked the center of the head with a marker and I will sew the ears between these 3 stitches. So I'm gonna start right here, insert the needle into the stitch, 
then into the ear and just sew the ear to the head. And at the end I hide the end for the stitches and cut the yarn. And from the other side, do the same way. And our cat head is ready. If you want, you can make a few bows and sew them with a regular needle and thread to the ears. Such head is very quickly to crochet, looks incredibly cute and beautiful. You can crochet it from less bulky yarn, so that the head was also less bulky. Write in the comments in what color are you going to crochet this head. I will be very interested to read. Thank you for watching this video, I'm sure you did it well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to add them in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to my Instagram, like this video, leave a comment and see you in the next video. Bye kitties!